I have wanted to create a quiet seating area for some time where I can just sit and linger. And I have found a perfect spot in the woodland. For me, this area was created because as I put the woodland together, I had the path coming through and there was an old log just chucked to one side. And as I was here working, I'd find myself just pausing. And then I started to realise how good the light was through the season and the dapple shade works really well, the wildlife come into the space. So what I've got is some old logs that were cut down from an old diseased tree that we had. And I'm going to use those, so I've put three in, I've got one more to put in there, but they could be even, I don't know, an old crate turned upside down in a border, a, a pot, even some railway sleepers, I've done it out of that. It's about really putting yourself in the planting just so that your view changes, your eye line changes, and you start to engage with nature and what's around you. And then the moments become incredibly special. So, get this in. As I said, all I'm doing, big chunks of logs, roughly level up, as long as it, and it's not gonna go anywhere because it's so heavy. So once we've got this in place, which as we plant around that, I'll firm it up a bit more. Come to the planting, I've chosen here. First of all, if you look, the ferns, that lovely sort of texture of that foliage and the light green that will develop as the season goes on. Next to there, you've got the actea, which has got that sort of lovely soft gray blue foliage. And then coming back in here, epimedium, sort of shiny, more or less leathery feel, but like a serrated dagger. And then lastly, this tiny little Solomon seal. It's wonderful it's little oval leaves. So when it comes to laying them out, it's just gonna go in around these seats. It's not gonna get too high, it's gonna start to really sort of carpet. But when you're sat on the seat, you're looking down on this plant, so you're really starting to see that detail. There we go. These plants are gonna get plenty of water when they need it just to get those roots going and then next year I think it'll be pretty well look after itself. With the plants in it's time now for the finishing touches. I've already put a hundred mil of hardcore under this path to stop it sinking. Now I can add the bark on top and finally fill up my bird bath. I made that over the winter just chiselled out the top of the wood, sealed it up, oiled it, and it looks quite nice. Just give you a little element of surprise as you walk through.